Hello, and welcome to the very first screencast of this unit. It is on mix and flow of matter, this unit. And this first screencast is going to be about chemistry symbols. Well, not necessarily chemistry symbols, but symbols that we would find on uh, labels of various substances that keep us safe. And these substances, or this label system, is referred to as the WIMIS system. Okay, And we're also going to talk about in the screencast what really is a fluid. Let's get crack in here. WIMIS. WIMIS stands for Workplace Hazardous Materials Information System. And this is a collection of very eight very specific symbols that tell anyone in the world what's in this container and what to do with it. Okay? So the first four symbols are here. We have compressed gas, reactive material, toxic material, and poisonous. And there's some examples there too. Okay? So each one of these, uh, you see the labels are are very specific uh, symbols inside of a circle that makes them a women's symbol and they're known uh, worldwide for what could be inside of it. So the next four, flammable, corrosive, oxidizing. Oxidizing means it, it, uh, it reacts with air and biohazardous. Okay? Uh, these are another, or the, the second set of four where uh, you need to know what the symbols mean and some examples of what you might uh, find them on. Okay, so these are very quickly women's symbols, eight symbols, keeping us safe. Now, introduction to the unit, fluids. What's a fluid? A fluid is anything that has no fixed shape and can flow. Gases and liquids can both be considered fluids because neither of them have any fixed shape and uh, neither, neither of them uh, have any difficulty flowing. Fluids can be used to transport materials in a variety of ways. We're going to talk about three specific ways that we use fluids. First way is something called a slurry. Okay, It's a mixture of water and solids, and that mixture is usually used to transport that solid. The example I give would be washing mud off of the driveway, as shown in the picture there. Okay, The, the mud is the solid, and you use water to transport it off of the driveway. The tar sands of Alberta use slurries. So what they have here is uh, in northern Alberta, they have or are oil sands. It's a combination of clay and sand and water, something called bitumen, and a very heavy black viscous oil. So after they've mined this uh, oil sands, that's uh, transported to an extraction place. And in this, in this extraction place, a hot water process actually separates the thick oil, which is called bitumen, from the sand and the water and the minerals. Now, what happens is they place this stuff in the separation container, and the hot water, when added to the sand and everything, uh, is used to transport uh, the materials from one point, one point to another. Because while it's suspended in the hot water, it actually we're able to move it a lot better rather than this thick, goopy, uh, very dense material that we can't do much with uh, without that. So once it's transported, then it, it uh, it's extracted further and it's separated further. It's a very complex process, but just an example of how we actually in Alberta, uh, in our oil industry, use slurries. The second way is we can actually use fluids to shape something or to make other uh, materials through superheating. Glass production and steel production are two very good examples where we superheat them and then we form them into the mold that we so desire. And then once they cool, we have a brand new shape. Okay? Fluids uh, used in the molten state allow us to shape these solids. And sometimes they can go in reverse. This is a wildfire result in Southern California. Uh, you can see that the fire was hot enough uh, next to this car or on this car to actually turn the, uh, the solid metal rim back into its fluid state. And that fluid down there is probably solid once again uh, now that the fire is gone. The third way is fluids can hold something. So fluids are slurries, they can transport, they can shape, and they can also hold other materials. The example that I give is always like toothpaste. Okay, toothpaste is a mixture of all sorts of different materials, and all those different materials are held within toothpaste, so they can be transported and used much, much, much easier. So that's it. The three uses, of how we mostly use fluids, the definition of fluids, and women's symbols. That's pretty straightforward. If you have any other questions, bring them to class and we'll talk about it.